Hello ulit sa iyo. This is still Sir Prince and we are now on part 2 out of 3 of our discussion on double integrals in polar coordinates. Just a reiteration of some tips. You can pause and rewind the video if you want to. You can inquire or consult your discussion teacher during discussion classes. You can note down important things. You can comment if you have something to say and enjoy mathematics. So let's go to the second set of exercises. Our goal here is to convert the following iterated integrals into polar form. In the first part, we have enumerated three steps para mas organized yung solution natin. We have the sketch, convert, integrate. So dito sa ating second set of exercises, convert lang naman daw natin yung integrals into polar form. So we can skip yung part kung saan kailangan natin mag-integrate. Okay? Ang required lang sa atin ay to convert into polar form. So, sketch pa rin natin yung region of integration, tapos convert. Then, we have our final answer. But, para na rin sa exercises ninyo, pwede nyo ituloy yung integration. So, ilalagay ko na lang din dito yung answers to those items na kayang magawa using the techniques you know so far. Okay? So, let's proceed to the first item. We want to find the double integral of dx dy dx y from negative square root of 16 minus x squared to square root of 16 minus x squared and x from negative 4 to 0. Okay? Katulad sa first part, bigyan ko muna kayo ng pagkakataon pag isipan kung gusto nyo bang itry ito. So kung gusto nyo subukan, nasagutan ito on your own muna. Pause nyo lang. Sabihin ko na ang solution and answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. So dito, ang gagawin natin ay tignan yung inner integral. So ang inner integral ay with respect to y. So ibig sabihin na to, ito ay mga bounds na ang ibinibigay ay expression for y. So we have the bound y equals negative square root of 16 minus x squared and the bound y equals square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay? Then yung outer integral naman natin ay with respect to x. So we have x equals negative 4 and x equals 0. Ito ngayon yung mga bounds natin for our region of integration. So identify natin kung ano-ano bang klaseng mga curves ito. Ito muna. So dito ay y equals negative of a square root. So, ibig sabihin niyan, sa una, y cannot be positive. So, y is less than or equal to 0. Sa pangalawa naman, y is the square root of an expression. So, kailangan non-negative naman dito. So, y is greater than or equal to 0. Pero, for both of them, kapag ni-square natin both sides, ang makukuha natin ay y squared equals 16 minus x squared. And rewriting, we get x squared plus y squared equals 16. Pero ano nga ba ito? This is a circle centered at the origin with radius square root of 16, so radius 4. Ang, ang ipinapahiwatig nito ngayon ay portion lang ito ng ating circle and ito ay portion lang din ng circle. Ito yung portion sa part na y is non-positive. Itong pangalawa naman yung portion sa y na non-negative. Okay? So semicircles sila parehas. Pero kapag pinagsama natin sila, mabubuo na yung buong circle. Okay? So combined, this forms the circle x squared plus y squared equals 16. Okay? So x equals negative 4 naman, this is a line, and x equals 0 is the y-axis. So sketching these curves, we have the circle. So we have, we have the center 0, 0, and radius 4. And then yung line na x equals negative 4 at yung y-axis, ito naman yan. Okay? So, ano yung region na nababound? Itong region na ito. So, kalahati lang ng circle. Ayan. So, we have the following. Next, we convert. So, itong x squared plus y squared equals 16. Dahil siya ay circle centered at the origin, ang kanyang polar equation ay r equals the radius. So, we have r equals 4. Take note na dito, nadadamay yung origin, yung center ng circle natin sa ating region of integration. So, ang r natin ay magsisimula ulit sa 0. So, we have r equals 0 to r equals 4. 
Next, for the theta naman, kapag yung buong circle na centered at the origin, ang kailangan mong theta ay 0 to 2 pi. Kaso dito, ang kailangan lang natin ay yung portion dito. So, hindi buong interval na 0 to 2 pi yung kailangan natin. Just a part of that. In particular, ito kasi ay nagko-correspond sa theta equals pi over 2. Tapos, ang pag-trace natin sa circle kasi ay counterclockwise from 0 to 2 pi. So, pi over 2. Papunta dito, kapag nandito na tayo, we have theta equals 3 pi over 2. Okay? So, we have theta interval given by pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. Now, pamalit naman sa integrand ng tignan natin. Ang integrand ay 3x. Si x, pwede natin palitan niya ng r cosine theta. Si dy dx naman, siya yung lumalabas na dA. So, papalitan natin yan ng r dr d theta. Okay? Hence, the integral becomes a double integral of 3r cosine theta, r dr d theta. And then, inner integral is with respect to r. So, dito ay r limits of integration. We have 0 to 4. And dito naman sa outer ay theta interval ang consider natin. So, we have pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. Simplify lang natin ng kaunti pa yung integrand kasi si r times r, r ay r squared lang naman. So we have the following. And this is now our final answer kasi pinapakonvert lang naman. But if you want to proceed to integration, you can verify that this is equal to negative 128. Okay? Alright. Nice. So let's proceed to the second item. So dito ang inner integral ay with respect to x. Ang outer integral naman ay with respect to y. Okay, so gamitin nyo na ulit ang kapangyarihan ng POS para subukan munang sagutan ang tanong na ito. Dahil akin nang i-reveal ang solution and answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, tara na at isolve na natin ito. So dito ang bounds natin ay sa x, we have x equals y at x equals square root of y. And then, sa y naman, we have y equals 0 and y equals 1. Okay? So, identify ulit natin kung anong mga curve ito. Itong una ay line. Itong pangalawa ay square root function. So, kung kaya nyo naman ng i-graph ang square root function, then, okay. Pero kung hindi, gawa tayo ng observation dito. So, take note na si x ay non-negative kasi square root siya ng some number. And kapag in-square natin both sides, we get x squared equals y. Ito ngayon ay mas obvious na sa atin kung anong itsura nito kasi ito ay isang parabola lamang. So itong x equals square root of y ay portion lang ng parabola x squared equals y. Okay? y equals 0 is the x-axis and y equals 1 is a line. So dito meron tayong dalawang line na parallel si x-axis at si y equals 1. Kunin natin si x equals y. So bilang boundary din naman si y equals 0 at y equals 1, hanapin na lang natin yung intersection ni x equals y sa dalawang lines na ito. Okay? So kapag y is equal to 0, we get x equals y equals 0. So we have the point 0, 0. Kapag y is equal to 1, we get x equals y. So x equals 1. So we get the point 1, 1. Hence, we have the following line. For the parabola naman, when y equals 0, we get x equals square root of 0. So, 0 lang yun. So, itong point na 0, 0 pa rin. Kapag naman y equals 1, we get x equals square root of 1. So, we get 1, 1 pa rin. So, we have the following parabola. Actually, it's just a portion of the parabola. Kasi hindi natin kailangan yung sa part na ito. Because x should be non-negative. Okay? So, ang region natin ngayon ay yung nababound nila. And ito yun. Ayan. So, okay na tayo sa sketching. Kailangan na natin ng R interval and theta interval. For the R interval, nagsisimula ulit siya sa zero. Ayan, kasi nadadama itong origin na ito. So, R is equal to zero. Pero saan siya mag -e end So, take note na mula R equal zero, kailangan natin ma-reach itong parabola or square root function. Okay? So, parabola siya quadratic in x, pero siya ay x as a square root function of y. Okay? 
So, dito sa part na ito, ano kaya yung R dyan? Nag-iiba-iba yung R dyan. So, kailangan natin malaman kung ano yung R in terms of theta. So, si x ay R cosine theta, si y ay R sine theta. So, we have R cosine theta equals square root of R sine theta. Squaring both sides, we get R squared cosine square theta equals R sine theta. Then we divide by R to get R cosine squared theta equals sine theta. And then, ayan na, malapit na. Si Ri equal na ngayon sa sine theta equals cosine squared theta. Okay? So, pwede na yan actually, pero para lang mas simple siguro yung 1 na lang yung denominator. Si cosine squared split natin as cosine times cosine. So, we have sine over cosine multiplied by 1 over cosine. So, si sine over cosine ay tangent theta at si 1 over cosine ay secant theta. Ayan na. So, we have R equals tangent theta secant theta. And our R interval is from 0 to tangent theta secant theta. Now, for our theta, we start with theta equals 0. Galing dito sa line y equals 0. And then, kailangan din natin yung theta from the line y equals x. So, itong red yun. Pero alam na natin na ang theta dyan sa so y equals x ay pi over 4, di ba? So, we have theta interval from 0 to pi over 4. Okay, na ang ating limits of integration. Ngayon sa integrand, meron tayong y. Ang pamalit sa y ay r sine theta. And then we also have x squared plus y squared. Ang pamalit dyan ay r squared. For dx dy naman, yan yung dA natin. So papalitan natin yan ng r dr d theta. Hence, the integral will become the double integral of yung y natin ay r sine theta. And then cosine. Itong x squared plus y squared ay r squared. Itong square root of x squared plus y squared ay square root of r squared. And then dx dy is r dr d theta. Tapos sa limits of integration, ang inner ay with respect to r. So dito ay 0 to tangent theta, secant theta. So namang outer ay with respect to theta. So we have 0 to pi over 4. Ayan. Simplify lang natin ng kaunti itong integrand. Si square root of r squared ay r na lang since r is non-negative naman. So we have r times r squared, we have r cubed. So namang r na to, multiply na natin sa r pa na to. So we have r squared. And hence, we get the following double integral. Ito na yung ating final answer kasi nga convert lang. But if you want to try continuing with the integration, kapag with respect to r, kaya pa naman by u substitution with u equals r cube, makukuha nyo dyan ay ito. Sine theta multiplied by sine of secant cube theta, tangent cube theta, all over 3. However, kapag ito na yung kailangan mong isolve, hindi na siya doable by Mathematics 21 or Mathematics 22 technique. Okay? Pero nilagay ko na rin siya dito. So that's it for the second part. And takits na lamang sa part 3. See you!